Hello everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to build a firefighting robot with WhatsApp alert using the ESP32. This robot can automatically detect fire, move toward it, spray water to extinguish the flames, and instantly send an alert message to your WhatsApp. It's a complete automation package for small-scale fire response. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming DIY tech tutorials. We'll need the following components. Three flame sensors, a 4WD car chassis, a servo motor, an L298N motor driver, a two-cell battery holder, an XT60 connector, a mini 5-volt buck converter, an ESP32 development board, a relay module, a mini water pump, some pipe, a water pot, and a breadboard. Let's begin assembling the hardware. First, I mounted the L298N motor driver onto the chassis and connected both the left and right motors to its output terminals. Next, I attached the flame sensors to the front of the chassis using screws. I placed the ESP32 board on a breadboard and secured it on the chassis. After that, I wired the connections between the ESP32, the L298N motor driver, and the flame sensors. For the power supply, I connected the XT60 connectors positive and negative terminals to the input of the buck converter. The negative terminal also connects to the ground of the motor driver, while the positive terminal connects to the motor driver's power input. The output of the buck converter then powers the ESP32 by connecting the negative to ground and the positive to the VIN pin. After checking the battery connection, everything powered up as expected. I then attached a servo motor to the front using PVC and glue. Since a 5-volt relay can't be triggered directly by ESP32's 3.3-volt logic, I used an NPN transistor, BC547, as a driver. When ESP32 sends a high signal, the transistor pulls the relay input low, activating it reliably. I wired the relay module to the buck module's output for power and connected the signal pin to GPIO12 on the ESP32. For the servo, I used a three-terminal connector powered by the buck module and connected its signal pin to GPIO13. Next, I set up the mini water pump by inserting a pipe and placing the water pot. The battery's negative terminal was connected directly to the pump. while the positive terminal went through the relay's common pin. The pump's positive terminal is connected to the normally open and O pin of the relay. Later, I replaced the mini buck module with a more powerful one for better performance. I also attached a tube with a small hole at the pipe's end to create a focused water stream, ensuring water is sprayed precisely on the fire. To improve flame detection, I added small shields to the flame sensors to block ambient light. For the WhatsApp alert, you'll need to send a specific activation message to a given number to receive your API key. This key must be included in the code to enable message alert. Now let's calibrate the motors. I uploaded a simple test code to ensure all motors rotate forward. If any motor runs in the wrong direction, just reverse its wiring. Moving on to the main code, 
we start by including necessary libraries. Make sure to install the ESP32 Servo library from the Arduino Library Manager. And remove the default Servo library. Also, install the URL encode library, which formats text for transmission over URLs. The motor pins connected to the L298N are defined, IN1, IN2 for the right motor, and IN3, IN4 for the left motor. The enable pins are used for speed control via PWM. GPIO12 controls the relay, and GPIO13 is for the servo. Analog inputs from the three flame sensors, left, middle, right, help detect fire. The onboard LED on the ESP32 is used as a fire indicator. Several constants are defined to control motor behavior and timing. If any flame sensor reads below 500, we consider that fire is detected. The motors are then set to a speed of 200 out of 255. You'll also need to configure your Wi-Fi credentials, WhatsApp number with country code, and the Call Me Bot API key in the code. We create a servo object and use two flags one to check if fire is detected and another to avoid sending duplicate WhatsApp alert. In the setup function, all motor pins, the relay, and the LED are set as outputs. Flame sensors are configured as input. The servo is attached and set to its center position. We ensure the pump and LED are off, connect to Wi-Fi, and then send an initial message to confirm the robot is ready. In the loop function, we continuously read the flame sensor values. If fire is detected, the robot enters firefight mode. Otherwise, it stops all actions. Inside the firefight mode, the LED turns on, and a WhatsApp alert is sent once per event. Based on which sensors detect the fire, the robot decides its movement. If middle and right, back up and turn slightly right. If middle and left, back up and turn slightly left. If only middle, move forward. If only left, back up and turn left. If only right, back up and turn right. Once the robot reaches the fire, the water pump activates, and the servo sweeps side to side to spray water. After extinguishing the fire, the robot resets itself by backing off and stopping. We also have custom functions for different movements like forward, backward, turn left, turn right, slight turns, and stopping. Each function uses PWM and digital signals to control the motors. Finally, the send alert function handles WhatsApp notifications using the Call Me Bot API. If successful, a confirmation is printed in the serial monitor. Otherwise, an error is shown. Now, select the ESP32 dev module, choose the correct COM port, and upload the code. Once the robot is powered on, you'll receive a message confirming the bot is active. I tested the alert system, and it successfully sent messages to WhatsApp. Then, I filled the water pot and tested the firefighting capability. The robot detected the flame, moved accurately, sprayed water, and sent the alert, all working perfectly. I've tried to explain everything step by step. If anything is unclear, 
feel free to ask in the comment section below. If you found this project helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more exciting DIY tech tutorials. Thanks for watching the full video.